now 35 days away from the start of the Olympic Winter Games in Pyeongchang. And if you're looking for athletes to cheer for with a Michigan connection, look no further than ice dancing. Most of the top teams train near Detroit. And one top skater grew up in Lansing. Her name is Madison Hubble. She skated today out in San Jose, California and stepped off the ice about a half an hour ago. She is one of several skaters trying to make the U.S. team to compete in the Olympics. Jack Doles shows us how her success has become a family affair. Madison Hubble started her ice dance career with her brother as her partner. Now she's paired up with Zachary Donahue, and they are one of the top teams in the United States. While she won't be skating with a family member in Pyeongchang, she'll still have a piece of her family on her when she steps on the ice, a costume made by her mother. I've sewn uh, my entire life. The steady pulse of a sewing machine has long sparked a creative gene in Susan Hubble. She used to try and dress me in like ridiculous things, big dresses with 15 ruffles. Madison was resistant at first. I only had brothers and I was kind of a tomboy. I wanted to play with them and climb trees. And I look back now thinking like how stupid I was. Now 26, she embraces her mother's flair for fashion, often competing in costumes designed and handmade by her mother. It is very special. And when I'm able to wear something that she's made, it's nice to take a piece of her out there on the ice with me. Susan has been making costumes for her daughter since she first started competing on skates. And if Madison makes the Olympic team with ice dance partner Zach Donahue, she'll perform in a dress made for this specific dance. What's that feel like to, to see her out there performing in your work? It's stressful. It can also be frustrating. Susan made this dress for Madison's short dance. It was hand beaded with some 10,000 rhinestones. It looked beautiful on her and everybody loved it. And then on the first event, when they actually saw it in motion, they thought it hid some of her movement. So they decided to change. And that happens all the time. What doesn't happen all of the time is seeing your child compete on the Olympic stage. That'll be special no matter whose dress Madison wears. Susan learned to sew out of necessity. She was raised in a single parent home in Matawan, so she couldn't afford to buy the clothes she wanted to wear. She learned to make them instead. And now she makes most of Madison's costumes and does some other sewing in the side. It's a pretty good way to help pay for her travels around the world to watch her daughter compete.